Uh, okay. Um, I use Photoshop CS6. So first, we're gonna find the file that you're gonna clean. Um, I'm just gonna show you chapter. What's this chapter? Chapter three, for an example. I believe this is chapter three. Yeah, yeah. This is chapter three. Okay. First, uh, in most scans, like if it's black and white. Um, you have to level it, but for reptims, you do not need to level it. For when I meant by leveling, it's like, for example, first let's duplicate the layer. Uh, when I meant level, it's like, oh, wrong one. You can use curve for you go to level. You're basically changing the scan's colors. Uh, never to use levels on reptunes. So the first step is to uh, leave all the leave it on RGB and do not adjust the size of the image. So first you duplicate the layer. Uh, you can just right click or you can also go to here. Right? Okay, right here, you can just click that, or you can do, if you're using Windows, you can do Control J, and I think Mac would be Command plus J, or Control J, I, I don't know. I only know Windows, I'm a Windows user, so next, you're gonna use an open a new layer. For, uh, if you know how to redraw, you can just redraw this area, for example. I can't redraw, so I'm gonna just try. Uh, we mostly use clone stamps and possibly s spot healing brush and patch tool. The clone stamp, what it does is that, okay, so click back on the background, like hold alt, and then cl left click a, le a section. So it's kind of like, kind of like a brush basically. You just like overlaid it. You can click, uh, make sure to, because, uh, Make sure you click again another spot because if you don't, for example, if I click right here and I want to color right, right, uh, right here, uh, like right here, and then I just keep color, it's gonna see see the ye the yellow is coming out. We won't, we don't want that. So you can just like. I noticed the color looks kind of different from earlier. You can use if you don't know the clean. Uh, if you don't know to use the clone tool, it's fine. And the next is the uh, pin tool. You can use path. Uh, oh. The first, oopsie. Okay, the first thing you have to do is like you when you go to the eye drop the eye dropper tool, click on the color that you're trying to. Hold on a second. Uh, I'm playing a game, so it's okay. Uh, after you get your color, you make a new. Uh, since we didn't use this layer yet, so we just have to like drag it out. You can use your mouse to drag, and then you can just dra make sure it's on brush. Don't use pencil because it's gonna look weird. It looks like pixel. Oh, I forgot it. Uh, go back to your brush tool, which is B. But you, it'll tell you right there. And then you, you decrease the size. You can use the, you know, the bracket button. You just, uh, the left back, the open bracket is to decrease, and the uh, close bracket is to increase the size. Or you can go up here and change the size. Okay, now that it's right there, you just brush it. You keep brushing it until you you find your uh, preferred size. Once it's once it's like that, see right here. This is like a blue part. You make a new layer. You can make a new layer, or you can just go to the pen tool again. Go to shape. Select your color. Just blue. And then you just do it like this. Make sure it's under the line. Uh layer because it was originally under the line 
it's okay how it doesn't matter for this part of how far apart it is so make sure it's in ps uh, uh, ps dot psd file do not ever change it to image file that's only if you're doing um, quality checking I mean you don't this is the these are SFX sound effects like so you you're not required to redraw SFX if you cannot redraw like if there's areas you can't do you just leave it alone um, oh I forgot Whenever you, for example, this was the redraw layer, we just redraw into it. This is the redraw also. Never uh, basically color onto the redraw layer. So basically, you have to create a new layer. And then you have to put it underneath the redraw. Because, for example, if I were to like do this, and then, okay, for example, I want to color this over. But there's another shape under underneath it but uh, in order to do that I have to re I have to first color underneath it so to for that to work you have to do underneath it wait hold on yeah you have to do underneath it so we do that and you uncheck it's I, can, I hope you get what I'm trying to say basically erase layer it has to be on a different layer than the redraw layer uh, make sure to clean this part out. It, we're gonna re this also, even though it's already in English characters, we still have to take it out because we putting in our own format. Leave this one alone, and you just pretty much clean the text layer. Just clean it out. For this one, you just have to like clean it around. Just like I said, just learn just redraw if you can't redraw just leave it to me and I'll just do the rest uh, like for here there's different shapes so you use the clone tool oh the clone tool and just like clone it see the border you can also use the border to shape out the that's effects uh, make sure that you don't go too far because the hair it starts right here I believe that's pretty much it's pretty basic cleaning the webtoons not as complex as manga black and white if you have any questions just ask